Good evening, everybody. I hope everyone's enjoying their second week of class. To, today, I'm going to be talking about our case study assignment, which was an overview, a uh, POS system at two locations. And the purpose of the assignment was to identify the architecture and to look at some improvements that could be made. I'll be going over the POS system my identification of what type of system that is, and the improvements that I would suggest being made. First, the system that I identified that the POS system is, is a decentralized architecture. The reason it is a decentralized architecture is because it is a system, information system, that is at two separate locations, geographically separated, and they go through the internet to communicate between the two systems. That clearly identifies it as a decentralized, whereas a centralized system would exist within a single geographic area and go across a local network. Now that we've identified those, the type of system it is, we can look at some improvements that can be made to this system. There are two separate improvements that I would suggest being made to this system. They would depend upon which system, which improvements were used would depend upon what the business needs were. The first that I would suggest would be to try and make the systems standalone. And that would be involve setting up a, sec a server and a backup server at the secondary location. This would make the system more secure and would allow the data to be properly taken care of and prevent it from being transferred across the internet where it could be exposed or stolen or any multitude of issues for security that could, that could pop up. This could be a little costly as it would involve purchasing an additional server and a, having a backup for that server at the secondary location. The other option that I would suggest would be to move the backup server from location A to location B. Now this would provide a uh, reliability factor to the POS system. That being uh, if there was a internet issue, a server issue, or something happened at location A, location B would be there to back up, back, provide a backup and ensure that location B doesn't have an issue with accessing the data that it needs for running that business. Now, this could also be set up as a load balancing system. So that way, if there is a server problem at either location A or B, that they could balance off of each other and ensure that the system continued operating. This also provides a measure of protection in case there is a natural disaster such as flood or fire. There, <clears throat> preventing data loss at one facility where you put everything in the same basket. Today, for this discussion, I talked about the identification of the type of information system that this POS system is using, and then looked at a couple improvements that could be made to the system. Thank you for your time.